What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are continuing our push throughout Master Tier with this great Tusk team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting me as recently. It really goes a long way. So again, if you've been liking up the videos, subscribing to the channel, or if you're just tuning in and watching, it really does go a long way. So huge, so huge shout out to everybody who is here enjoying my content. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, DK Trading. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to your channels and your socials. And also the Poke Pace will be down there as well if anybody wants to go see the stats of this team more in depth. But let's get started here. Brute Bonnet in the top left corner. Really cool Pokemon, Grass and Dark type. Love its design. It has a little tail and like dinosaur stubby feet. It's awesome. It's pretty dope. It's got protosynthesis and the boosted energy as its item and ability. And it has spore, sucker punch, speed bomb, and speed bomb, seed bomb, and, and thief for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Palafin. We got Palafin alongside Pelipper on the team. Always a good combo. Cannot wait to rock out with this Pokemon yet again, considering it is one of my Gen 9 favorites. It's got Zero to Hero, then Mystic Water as its item, and then Shock and Flip Turn, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be the Series 1 Meta God. It is going to be Golden Go over here. Good as Gold, Life Orb, and then Moveset's pretty similar. Make it rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Spot, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before, Golden Go is still a beast in Series 2. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Pelipper. Set the rain, grant some weather control, and help Palafin do as much damage as possible. It has Drizzle alongside with the Damp Rock, Rockin' Hurricane, Roost, Tailwind, and Wide Guard to protect allied Pokemon from double heading moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Iron Bundle. I've been using Iron Bundle a lot on the right deck. Super fast, hits really hard, and is good for speed control as well. This one has Quark Drive with the Focus Ash, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Protect, which I believe is the best move set for an Iron Bundle. Final Pokemon is going to be the Great Tusk, ancient form of Dom Fan, and it is a Pokemon that I haven't used on the Rank Ladder at all yet. It has Pro Synthesis, alongside with that Assault Vest to make it as bulky as possible. Then it's got Signature Move, Headlong Rush, Earthquake, Ice Spinner, and Brick Break. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this great Tusk team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against a powerhouse of a team Iron Hands, Flutter Main, Iron Bundle, King Gambit, and then the oh so strong Armor Rouge and Indeedy combo. I'm terrified. I am terrified. How should I play this one, though? How should I play this one? I could go into Pelipper, but mmm. Huh. This one's tough. This one's real tough. This one is real tough. Because I'm trying to think of ways I can kind of counter in DD and Armourish because I think they are going to end up leading that. This is tough. I mean, going into like Ice Spinner, you could be good. Because I can break terrain at that point. Which is not too bad. And then going into Pelper here as well. So I can set up Tailwind. I can easily set up Tailwind. I can instantly set up Talon, or I can go to Delhi Bird, just Icy Wind, and then go into that. But Armourish would still... Mm, might be my best bet, but I would rather get off of Talon. So, you know what? I'm going to go there. I mean, do I protect on you? That's the real question. I don't, and now that's a problem. So, that leads me to wanting to go into Bundle. What's your speed, though? Yeah, we got to go into Bundle here. So, I'm going to go Bundle. I'm going to go Great Tusk. I'm going to bring the Brute Bonnet in the back end, and then last but not least, I'm thinking of just going Golden Go, because Golden Go is a monster. It's really, really solid. So that's going to be my pilot. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I always feel like the time goes by so quick whenever I'm recording and whenever we're in a team preview and we have to pick a Pokemon. Because I got to the point. I was like, dude, I have like five seconds left. Let's pick up the pace here. <laughs> Had to get after it that way. Let's see our opponent ends up bleeding. It's going to be in DD Armors. Iron Hands and Armors. Iron Hands and Armors come out here. Um, I could Terrasilize in a straight ground, which I'm really thinking of doing. In a straight EQ in, correct? Do I protect you? I feel like I don't protect you, right? I have Focus Sash. Because the thing is, if he fakes me out, that, see, we have different options. If he fakes out my Great Tusk, which I think he's going to do. Then I don't want to protect the Iron Bundle, we get no use out of it. So, I don't mind if I hit my Iron Bundle. I have Focus Ash. I'm going to try slicing the ground. I'm going to get after it. It's my plan. It's my plan. 
And I wonder what he's gonna do, because Great Toss is solid lead here. I feel like he has to terrestrialize at least one of his Pokemon. Right? If not, he keeps coming in hot. We're gonna straight ground here. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. We go into the ground typing. We do have the best on us, which is solid. And we go Strasslize from him. And it's weird. My Great Tusk outspeeds whoever he's Strasslizing, which probably the armor is, right? It is gonna be armor. It's in the straight psychic. Hopefully, this thing's not Rocket Terror Blast, because that could be scary. I mean, I could freeze dry next turn, but. Oh, we Hydra Pumped in that slot. What are you faking out? You are gonna fake out my bundle here. Please don't tell me I KO my bundle. I might KO my bundle here. I would like my bundle for next turn. <laughs> don't KO my bundle. Our bundle survives. And are you doubling down on my bundle? You double down on my bundle. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so they double down on my bundle. I can, I can deal with that. And from here, I could bring out the brute. I want to, but Golden Go is not bad here. Golden Go is not too bad here. I'm gonna go. Actually, I might just ice spinner down that. I might just ice spinner that. That armor rouge, right? We know we outspeed it, which is solid. And I have ice spinner, so I'm just gonna go ice spinner. And I could set up a plot, but Shadow Ball is gonna do that play. Right in this slot. We're gonna. Do I Shadow Ball? There's no way he swaps to Indeedy, right? There's no shot you swap it to Indeedy here. Right? There's no way you swap it to Indeedy. Just stay in here. Let me take out your iron hands and we can go from there. Just let me do that. Let me let me, let me make that play. Let me make that play. We still have the bonnet in the back, which is pretty solid. Our terror type's really, really strong right now. Chilling here with the assault vest still and full HP. So I, I dig that. I dig that a lot. So he does stay in with the iron hands. This should take out no problem, right? No way you eat this up. Cool. Get him on out of here. Dope. I, Ancient Tusk or what did, what's this Pokemon called? I think it's Ancient Tusk, right? Big Tusk. Tusk guy right here. I forget his name already. Use Ice Spinner KO. Great Tusk. That's what it is. KO. Hmm. To the moon. Pops a Trick Room. Okay. So Trick Room is popped here. Indeed, he might come out here now. Indeed, he might just come out here. And it is going to be Indeed. And I feel like he has to go after. I feel like you have to go after Tusk, right? I can't protect it, though. I definitely want to go into an Ice Spinner alongside with Make It Rain. But I want to take out the string. I want to take out the string. What is your speed, Great Tusk? Because I feel like you should be slower than like Arm Rouge and all of them. To be honest with you. 108, you're actually rather fast. You're actually rather fast. We have the Bonnet who's rather fast too. That's Swore for later Pokemon. But from here, I feel like this is just has to be an Ice Spinner to get rid of Terrain. Just so we can use Sucker Punch later with Bonnet if need be. And then just a Make It Rain call, right? Seems like we have to use a double move just in case the Follow Me comes out here. But I have a salt vest. I have a salt vest onto the tusk. Should be able to soak up a good bit. And I'm surprised that this thing. Okay, there's expanding force. I thought it would go into like a, a terror blast. Wow, that did a heaping amount of damage. A little bit too much. Armour just dies. Okay, that's fine. Armour just died. The orb. And can we kill before Indeedy? That could be lovely. No, you go for a second. Can you eat this up? Eat this up, Golden Go. All day. All day, Golden Go. All day. So Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. We're gonna take out the terrain, which is huge. And then the Make It Rain's gonna pop here. Make It Rain is popping. And I might swap the Golden Go into the Bonnet here. I might swap the Golden Go into the Bonnet just to get speed back. Or a special attack back. If I could swap into the Bonnet here, I can just straight up sucker punch that and then get after the battle that way. Mm, Scream Overlord is a problem. That is definitely a problem. Hmm. How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. Three. Wow. I'm going to swap it to the Bonnet here. This battle's close. This battle's coming down to the wire. 
This battle's way too close. I wish I had protect on my tusk, man. I really do. Now, is that thing going for a follow me? Could. It could definitely. We're going for a headlong rush here. Hoping that it just lets us hit its gambit. I'm swapping my golden go. Bring around the brute bonnet. Boost my attack. I can always sucker punch too. If I need it. Pro since since this is gonna come out here. I'm gonna go from here. The so Kowtow Cleave gonna fly through her. Can we soak? Probably not. No, yeah, that thing is so strong with Supreme Overlord. So we die to that. I just wanted my attack step back. And now the real question is do I sucker punch? I wanna sucker punch that indeed he's so bad. I really want to sucker punch that in DD. But my problem here is, is it going to go for a follow me? There's no way, right? There's no shot it goes for a follow me, correct? I mean, I'm going to go for a protect here. Now I'm just going to try to take it out. I'm going to go for a sucker punch play here. There's no way you go into a follow me here after attacking me two turns in a row. I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset, yo. This battle's so good. Come on, brute by it. Come on, buddy. If I get rid of Indeedee, I can spore. Maybe try to go for a double protect. Get after the battle that way. Protect comes out from the golden go. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Why? 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 I... Mmm. Mm. Every time I said I need, I don't need something to happen. Any cowtow cleaves into my brute bonnet slot. That sucks, man. That sucks. I'm going for double protect. I'm looking just KO. Oh, dude, that hurts the soul. Watch, it's not gonna go for following me this time. And we don't land a double protect. No RNG on our side. Not anything whatsoever. Go after my brute bonnet again. Please go after my brute bonnet again. You read my protect. How dare you? Okay, so is there a shot we can win this? The thing is, I KO here, and I outspeed now. I can spore. I can spore. It's gonna be not very effective, which kind of sucks, but we have Spore. We have Spore. I'm gonna thief its item. I'm gonna take its item. Tell me, give me that. Whatever it's rocking. Take its item this turn. I'm, I might have to play like a Chach here. Because I want this win for you guys. <laughs> I definitely want this win. We're gonna thief its item here. Get it. What do we get? What do we. Choice Band. Oh, no! 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 We can't spore anymore. We can't spore anymore. We cannot spore anymore. What is this? That hurts, man. That hurts. That really does hurt. But we're choice banned now. Doing doing nice chunk, and I, but I would love the spore here. Iron Head, we're dead, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. Lovely. We take his choice band off and just ruin our match. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one, solid match all around from me and my opponent, but we end up losing. Let's hop into our second match. Look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys. Looking for a little bit of redemption, but we're going up against a really strong team. Iron Hands, Mimikyu, Torkoal, Brute Bonnet, Screaming Tail, the Jigglypuff Ancient Form, and last but not least, they are rocking out with the Iron Moon. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I cannot believe we lost that first battle. So close, so close. I wish we would have came out on top, but... Who do I think he's going to lead? Iron Hand definitely an option. Mimikyu is definitely an option for Trick Room. Golden Goat could be solved for us, but we, is there any way we can dodge the Fake Out? Like, Fake Out seems like it's its just a problem here, right? I mean, I could go Golden Goat, Palafin, and then just hard swap if he wants to go for Fake Out. That's fine by me. That would be fine by me, if that's the case. Um, but yeah, it seems like he gets off a free Trick Room. So at this point, I want to bring in like... My faster Pokemon, I guess. I mean, I can counter Weather with Pelipper, which I really, really like. And then last but not least, I gotta go in with the Brute Bonnet. Or the Tusk. The Tusk isn't bad. I like the Tusk. We have a lot of different moves that we can rip into Pokemon with. So yeah, we're gonna go Tusk here. 
We are going to go Tusk. So we're going with in with three non-Paradox Pokemon and leaving two in the back end. I just feel like we have a better chance of winning this battle with this Pokemon. And hopefully we get Ribbon with this one. But yeah, that last battle was so close. So close. So close. And of course I Thief and then I just take a choice ban. I'm like, oh god. This sucks. It ends up going in. I do not know what Screaming Tail does. That's that's a problem for me. It ends up going into Screaming Tail. And actually, what typing is that? Is that Fairy? Fairy? You are Fairy. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy. So, a Make It Rain is a must here. And do I flip turn or do I jet punch? That's the real question. What is your speed stat? Mr. Palafin. Are you faster? You are faster than Goldigo, but I don't know if you're faster than Mimikyu. I'm gonna say you are. Actually, are you faster than Screamy Tail? Screamy Tail seems like a problem, man. I'm gonna go for the flip turn. I'm gonna go for the flip turn. He okay, that's fine. I just need to get rid of this Mimikyu. Are you faster than Mimims? You probably you might not be, but I'm probably going for Trick Room. So we're gonna drop the skies. And we get the flip turn out. And if you want to go for Trick Room, we just KO you. Huge, huge, huge. We get rid of you. Um We bring out the Tusk, right? Seems like Tusk is definitely the play. And we save our Pelper just in case he has Torkoal on the back end, right? Yeah. Makes the most sense. But not a bad turn from us. Not a bad turn from Jeans. Make it rain. We gonna make it rain, baby. Make it rain some coinage. Later, Mims. So we get rid of Mims. I'm not afraid to pop another. Another make it rain, even though we're minus one. Seems pretty simple for us. And then Terrasilize in our Great Tusk. Considering that thing's fairy and we are part fighting. It seems like a must to just Terrasilize the Great Tusk. So we'll see what Pokemon they want to go into. If he does end up going in Torkoal, I'm thinking I'm just going to hard swap into my Pelipper and then just freely get EQ'd off. Let's see. Let me Brute Bonnet. So Brute Bonnet is going to come out here to play. So at this point, pick up for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's not bad, but Make It Rain's going to be your play. Just so we can double down damage. And then, do I still Terrasilize? I mean, the grass moves are scaring me. The grass moves are scaring me. I could just hard swap into Pelipper. Save it for some hurricanes. Right? So if I try slides the ground, we're still gonna be weak to those moves. I'm thinking of just hard swapping into Pelipper. Especially if that thing's going for grass moves. Yeah, I'm gonna hard swap into Pelipper. I can hurricane it next turn. <clears throat> and if he ends up bringing out Torkoal. Then I just hard swap into my Palafin, do something like that, go from there, blah, 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 blah. And then just use Pelipper later. Okay. So yeah, we're going to hard swap into Pelipper. Predicting the Seed Bomb, just ripping into that slot, right? He trash slides. Screamtail. Root Bonnet. Straight Grass? Water. Weird. But I like water typing on that. Sucker Punch coming in here. Wow, I could've just went to my Great Tusk, got some work done. Okay. Hmm. Root Bonnet's a little bit of a problem right here, and Trick Room is out and about now. I mean, Palafin's obviously gonna be a play. I'm gonna have to rip with Hurricanes. I could go in the Tusk. Hmm, that Water Brute Bonnet seems to be a problem, right? I'm gonna go into Palafin. I might just protect it turn one, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna protect Palafin turn one. Just to start wasting out some trick room turns and then use an extra because considering a we can waste out trick room turns and then b i think stream tail has a a chance to protect here so i'm just gonna hurricane start dropping some damage onto that uh brute bonnet and go from there but it ends up with all on the scream tail that's fine i was gonna jet punch into that and now are you going into torkoal is torkoal the call here it's gonna be torkoal i mean i got free jet punches that punch could chip up some nice damage. I mean, you're changing up weather. Ooh, and that hurts. You're going to pro synthesis pop. And on top of that, my hurricane's probably going to miss. I don't like this game. But I'm not playing this for you guys anymore. <laughs> Never again. Seed bomb coming in here. We protect that. Good protect from us. Um, I think Torkoal's going to protect, which is rather scary too. And hurricane, of course, RNG sucks. And I miss. Do I go into Tusk here? This sucks. Like, I just don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'll go for the jet punch. Gotta go for the jet punch. And you know, I'm just gonna Y-Guard. I'm just gonna Y-Guard. The Y-Guard coming out from the Paloops. 
We like that. We like it a lot. And Jet Punch gonna fly. Jet Punch chipping up half damage. Even though you are dead here. There's a C-bomb coming in hot here. Oh, you're just gonna Earth Power me. Are you doubling down into me? Are you doubling down? You are. Oh, you're not. Okay. So we can obviously Jet Punch again. Obviously we can Jet Punch again. I'm just gonna protect. Just in case he wants to protect. And do I roost? No point, right? How many turns is left in Trick Room? Two. Two turns left in Trick Room. I could swap you into the Tusk. Just to get Rain out next turn. Definitely my play. Definitely. 100% to my play. Great Tusk coming out here. We need to end this Trick Room. Trick Room is a problem. Actually, Tusk might be faster than... Might be faster than that Brute Bonnet here. And there's the Protect. Saw that coming. That's why we protect it. And he has to be Seed Bombing into my slot. You have to be Seed Bombing into my slot. Sporin. You're Sporin instead. Okay. I feel like here we just... I think I swap into the rain here. Because A, I can swap, set the rain, and B, I can terrestrialize and then freely EQ across the board. Yep, that's fair. I tax heighten too due to protosynthesis. Yep, he swaps in Screamtail. That's fine. That is fine. It is fine. So Screamtail's gonna come out here. I'm I'm actually taking off protosynthesis. I'm taking it all the way. No one's allowed to have it. Not one of you guys. Not one of you guys are allowed to have protosynthesis. So <laughs> we're going straight into this. This is a great battle. Still have Thrash Lights, which we're about to pop. We get the weather. I'm not worried about the one-on-one -on -one with with uh Torkoal. Everyone's pro synthesis is gone. <laughs> we're like, yo, you guys got pro synthesis? We're taking it away. So now I can terrestrialize here. I think that Great Tusk outspeeds and trick him. I think it is slower than Brute Bonnet normally. But it might be uh Brute Bonnet might be slower because it's on like a trick team. We'll see how this one is gonna play out here. He's gonna go for C bomb into you. That's totally fine. That is totally fine, because I get off this free EQ, and then I get back out my Palpin with Trick Room gone, which is ridiculously huge. That thing is Orb. It is Orb. Now, EQ is flying. It's flying, baby. He's going to bring back out Pro Senses, but Trick Room's gone. Trick Room is gone. We deal with nice damage to Scream Tail, nice damage to Brute Bonnet, and now I can legit just protect, right? Do I even protect here? Or do I just jet punch the Scream Tail slot? I think we just protect EQ, correct? Protect EQ is 100% reply. 1000%. Wow, this is such a dude. We're having some great battles today. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Making me think a lot. Making me like go through the process of everything. But Palafin, we've been we've been playing very, very passive with Palafin, and it's working out really good for us. So we're gonna end up see a withdrawal here. The Turkle's dead. Turkle is 100% dead. Torkoal is gone. Torkoal is gone. And so is Brute Bonnet. That was, that was a dumb play. That was a dumb play. Was it a dumb play? Let me see. I think we're good here. We've just been protecting our Palafin. I think Palafin just poses that big threat. They just want to attack it all the time. They don't protect it. That's, that's fine. That's fine because I take out Torkoal. Torkoal was the biggest threat. I outspeed now. Yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty good here. We're sitting real nice here. Yo, Ancient Tusk is really good. I'm really liking this Pokemon so far. Really bulky. Especially when you Terrastalize. It's kind of just like a better Garchomp at this point. I wouldn't say a better Garchomp because Garchomp's speed stats are a little bit better. But this is just like a bulkier Garchomp. You Terrastalize in the ground. You pop EQs all across the board. It does work. It does work. But these are some long, drawn-out great battles. That's what I love about Master Tier. Especially early on, Master, you have a lot of people pushing for it. It's dope. A pro sense is going to pop. Special defense is heightened. Um, there's no need to jet punch here, right? I feel like wave crash should be applied. Or I could just straight up jet punch. I'm going to wave crash into Scream Tail because I know EQ just KOs both. So I'm just going to wave crash there. We know that you go first. So there's the wave crash. Almost KO. And, and then. Great Tusk should go next, right? Correct? No, Gleam goes next. That's totally fine. We know we outspeed the Bonnet. 
GG's. GG's, what a team call for us. Bringing in three non-Paradox Pokemon alongside with our one Paradox Pokemon, and it works out perfectly. On top of that, we made some great plays with protecting the Palafin, swapping into Pelipper, all that good stuff, but really good second battle. One on one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and how do we go from versing top tier Paradox teams to this? But I'm not gonna take this lightly. This team's actually looking pretty sick. Gold Duck, Weavile, Ampharos. Is that the Fighting Tauros or Fire Tauros? I'm not sure which Tauros that is. And then Toxtricity and Storm Drain Gashon. Gotta watch out for Storm Drain Gashon, obviously, considering we have our whole water squad. But I feel like Free Shride, Deli Bird, and Brute Bonnet is gonna be a great call here, right? I feel like I wanna set up a Tailwind, or we might not even need Tailwind here. If Icy Wind. Do we, do we really need Tailwind? Looking at this team, no, we really don't need it. We really don't need it. So I'm going to go Bundle alongside with Root Bonnet. Bring the Tusk in the back end because Tusk is just a beast. And then last but not least, I got to go Gold to go. Or do I go with my lovely little Dolphin? Nah, we got to go Gold to go. We got to go Gold to go. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome battle so far. Hopefully we can have a great third and final battle because nothing's better than a long drawn out Pokemon battle. Like battles number one and two where you do not know who's going to win because there's some battles obviously in Pokemon where it's just like turn one. You're like, all right, I got a huge upper hand here. I'm probably going to win this battle. But those last two battles are just like, yo, every turn it's swapping sides. Like you do not know who's going to win the battle. And those were such good, good battles. But Golduck and Toxtricity end up getting the lead here. I got the Bonnet, which is solid here. Uh, and, huh. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Because I can obviously seed bomb that slot. The Golduck slot. I can seed bomb the Golduck slot. I could also freeze dry the Golduck slot. I might try to land a Hydro Pump. Well, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to protect you turn one. And I'm just going to Spore... Toxtricity over here. The reason I want to do that is because I think Toxtricity is going to be a problem, and I thought Golduck was going to protect. But Golduck ends up sort of swapping out. And I'm fine with that. I really am cool with that. I am cool with that. Give me a sec, guys. I got a notification on my <laughs> my other monitor, and I have to switch sides here. I don't want to. I don't. I'm, I'm just gotta check it out because I don't want to mess me up. Then, what you didn't? Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Just had to check it out. To see if it didn't mess me up recording. But Toxtricity ends up protecting? Is that what happened? Okay, so it's just a free first turn. It's just a free first turn. And from here... I'm gonna Hydra Pump you. Right? And Spore to Ampharos? Yeah, I'm gonna Spore to Ampharos slot. I want Ampharos down for the count. But Terrasalization is gonna end up coming out here. And dude, I have great Tuscan. Great Tuscan rip. And what terror type are you going to? Straight fairy. Straight fairy. So fairy's a little scary. Fairy is definitely a little scary. Especially up against great tusk too, because we're fighting. But I can always uh terrestrialize. I'm gonna drop a hydro pump here. Bro, that thing <laughs> looks insane. He just brings out his he just oh brings me down his hatch, but he just brings out his little aquarium behind him, his little fishbowl, and just shoots hydro pumps into, <laughs> into people. It's so deadly. Well, that ends up happening, and I think Brute Bonnet is a bit faster than than Ampharos, because Ampharos is rather slow, and it is cool. The Brute Bonnet is just so strong. It's basically it's an Amoongus on steroids. It's a faster Amoongus who could just spore. It's so good. It's so good. Brute Bonnet's where it's at. But we end up putting Ampharos to sleep, which was a good call here. And then from here, I could just Icy Wind, because I know Icy Wind will KO that, uh... Icy Wind will KO the, uh... The Toxtricity, and then I'm going to Thief the Ampharos. Just so I can take its item. Say, give me that. Thank you very much. Let's see what item this thing's rocking. What item are you rocking? Give me something good. Give me something juicy here. Give me something juicy here, Ampharos. What you got cooking for daddy? Give me a life orb. Give me an orb. What you got for me? A life orb. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, for, and he wakes up. Wait a minute. Hold up. That's unreal. That's unreal that I just woke up there. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That egg got one turn sleep. Nah, 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 nah. I'm calling hacks. I'm calling cheating over here. I was playing around, but that, that is definitely a hack right there. Not in a million years could I get a one turn sleep. Never in a million years. But I got the boys here. The boys are ready to cook. 
The boys are ready to cook here. The boys are indeed ready to cook. 1,000% ready to cook. So from here, I'm just going to terrestrialize Ancient Tusk and start getting rid of some stuff. So obviously, I want to protect here. And just EQ, right? EQ should be able to pick up the KO on the Ampharos. Toxicity should be fastest on the field. It should go Toxicity, Golden Goat, then my Tusk, then Ampharos. Yeah, that really hurts right there. He still has Golduck, which Golduck eh, could be a problem. Golduck could be a problem. Not a fan of Golduck. Try rocking the sash too, because gold ducks with focus sash are just a big thing. Are just a big thing. But I cannot believe that that thing woke up in one turn. We were sitting in such good position, sitting so good. Now we're in a hole. Hopefully we can get ripping here. <clears throat> Overdrive's coming out here. That is fine. Does not affect me. You're just gonna hit on to your Ampharos, right? You're just hurting your amp Ampy, right? I know it doesn't hit side Pokemon, but EQ's gonna fire. Toxicity's 100% dead. I think we KO the Ampharos as well, considering we're Terrasilize. We KO amp Ampy. We do KO Ampy. So big turn from us. We get rid of him. 2v2 now. We know he has Golduck. Um, I think that's a Pokemon where I really want to double down into, right? But again, I do not know it's fourth Pokemon. I do not know the fourth Pokemon. But dude, we would have just cleaned this battle if. If Ambrose was asleep one more turn, this battle was wraps. It was wraps. It was wraps. I had a Life Orb Brute Bonnet with Booster Energy already popped. It was GG's. But Taurus going to fly here. And this is the Fire Taurus. It is the Fire Taurus. So I really just want to rip into it, right? I really want to EQ it. I really want to EQ it. I might just Shadow Ball and EQ. Seems like a must play, right? I don't mind killing my Golden Go at that point. I really don't mind it. We're able to eat. That's fine. You, you were dying anyway sooner or later. So we're just going to do this. I don't think Golduck can do enough damage to KO me. My Great Tusk. And it's just game set match, right? Oh, we outspeed it anyway. Great Tusk getting some work done today. This Pokemon ripping. Golduck's dead. Tauros, you're dead, right? Yep, there it is. Match number three. Clean battle from us. We end up losing our front two. Great Tusk comes in the back and picks up four KOs with EQ. God love it, guys. You got to love it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Absolutely ripping with this Great Tusk team. Great Tusk was definitely MVP for today's video. Tour through teams, thrasilizing in the ground, and just popping EQs all day long. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.